Hey gang, thanks for checking out this week's episode of The Last Frame. Today, I have a beauty portrait shot for you that I did with four lights, some red gels, and I'll show you some awesome variations that I got by working the shot. Stay tuned. This is a beauty shot that I did with a young model that I had been building a portfolio for. The shot was being done at the end of a workshop that I was teaching, so time was of the essence. I didn't have a lot of time to waste with my usual routine because I was teaching. So this is a great example of how preparation and knowing your gear pays off in a shoot. Now in addition to being beautiful, this model has a very calm personality and a wonderful olive skin tone. So my makeup artist decided on some subtle silvers and cyans for the makeup with just a touch of red above the eyes. Because of the model's beautiful dark eyes and skin tone, I decided to work with red as the color that I would build the shot with. I wanted a contrast between very elegant and upscale, yet very messy. So we decided to create a kind of Medusa-like hairstyle. Once the model was done in makeup, we brought her on the set and began the process of wrapping the red tool and black vinyl. I knew that I was probably gonna shoot her straight on because her face is very well balanced and I love her eyes. So we were going for an almost symmetrical feel with the materials in the hair. She's lit primarily with a 21 inch white beauty dish on a 320 watt second Paul C. Buff Alien B 800 that is placed directly in front of her and above. You can see in this shot that I have a white sock on the beauty dish for a bit more diffusion. From there, I added a Zebra Gold California Sun Bounce Micro Mini Reflector for a little warm fill and to add a little more pop to the pupils of her eyes. This essentially creates a clamshell lighting setup with just one light. As you can see here with the beauty dish and reflector, this is where the shot is. So it's time to add the remaining three lights, which are the color accents. The first is the background light, which is placed between the model and the black background at a height just below the model's shoulders, since I'm planning on shooting at just about eye level. With the red gel and the power dialed up, you can see how the red creates a glow with a beautiful gradient that fades to black. Then I'm gonna add strobe number three, also with a red gel, and place it directly behind the model, aimed straight at the camera. This is the light that will create the red glow in the model's hair. Now I don't have the ability to create big messy hair with the Satellite 3D software, so you can see the light here. In the real life version, the hair, the red tool, and the black vinyl hide this light. And last but not least, because you can never have enough red, I added a rim light, also with a red gel on camera right, above and slightly behind the model. Realistically, this light could have been left out of the equation, and you could do this shot just as well with three lights. By the way, all three of the additional strobes were 320 watt second Paul C. Buff Alien Bees. Now this shot was made with a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 zoom set at 85 millimeter and f8. The shutter speed was 1 200th of a second and the ISO 100. As I mentioned before, this young lady has a very calm personality, so my instructions to her were to simply stay relaxed, and I began with my intended shot, straight on, shot only slightly below eye level, and framed symmetrically with the model's nose in the dead center of the frame. See? I wasn't struck by lightning because I ignored the rule of thirds. Next, it was time to work the shot. As I mentioned, this series was done as a demo at a workshop I was teaching. So I started with a vertical magazine cover kind of crop, still just slightly below eye level. Notice how this tight crop ignores all the red accent lighting and essentially turns it into a completely different photograph. I also realized while I was shooting that this one would look awesome if converted to black and white. Then I went back to horizontal and turned the model slightly to camera right and also moved her gaze to camera right. We adjusted the red tool and let the rim light show through it. The important piece of this shot is the eye placement. If you wanna learn more, be sure to watch this video. This version was my second favorite of the series. For one last version, I had the model bring her hand up and softly hold the tool near her face, and I went in for a tight horizontal crop. I'm glad I tried the shot, but it was definitely my least favorite of the series. The final image required very little post-production beyond the usual color, contrast, and sharpening, and of course, removing of blemishes. I say this just as a reminder of the importance of great hair and makeup. As is the case with most of my shots, you could also do this with speed lights. 
And if you don't have a beauty dish, you could create a similar lighting with a white shoot-through umbrella on the top, and even two soft boxes and a clamshell lighting setup. And like many of the arrangements that I've shown you, this would work well with a blue gel or pink or pretty much any color, so you can tweak this arrangement based on the color of the model's outfit. Okay gang, take this idea and run with it. Go create and show me what you come up with because, yeah, your best shot, it's your next shot. So please, keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and share them with your photography friends. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you have a question that you would like answered, post it in the comments section below. Your question could be my next video.